and welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Fortress Craft Evolved. Spider Spider Bros looking lonely. He doesn't have anything to do. I don't think we're getting attacked right now. His eye isn't red. Uh, yeah, it was zero threat. So we're all caught up, ready to go. And uh, yeah, we've got uh, biomass over here. There's copper I brought over. Uh, iron is already over here. So copper I had to sort of do some shenanigans with the copper so it goes down into a hopper back up and continues on the line and the top of the line I use for this I couldn't put a hopper right here because then it would bleed into titanium and I didn't want that that would be bad uh, so we have uh, all of the required resources over here so let's see what we can do about uh, assembling these missiles so i have an elevated platform mainly to allow our friendly slimes to uh, go right on through uh if i would have built this up and had a bunch of stuff in here then the slimes uh would have a trouble kind of getting through so this first layer i want to use as all of the non-powered assembling parts so we need uh first uh, the fuel canisters, we need copper pipes, and we need gold wire up here. So I have a bunch of those things ready to go. And let's see, we have the extruders. I need the pipe makers, pipe extrusion plant, and then the fuel canister crafter. So we have iron right here, so it would make sense to do the iron base stuff sort of in this corner. Uh, and that way, uh, let's see, if I put this, if I bring it up right here, I should be able to do three of these, three of these, uh, and maybe that's enough. Maybe that's enough. Um, we're going to Put a tube in there, and then a half hopper, and then we can put just regular conveyors to feed this thing. So they will all come out here, they will all congregate right in here, and that way we can have another half storage hopper to collect some excess. So let's get that party started right now, and let's see, we're going to want, I'm going to go this way with it drop this down Come on, right there now are we I mean we are right in line right here with with the slime trap but I think we should be good they they I've seen them go around like one block spaces so let's just make sure that this setup works and everything goes through and everything goes in and it works uh, this should there it goes okay so it does work all right the next thing is the copper uh, we need copper pipes and that is simple enough uh, as long as we yeah I've got some more extrusion plants crafted so copper uh, we're gonna want right in here somewhere so copper right in here uh, and then again the half storage hopper as a sort of buffer although we uh, this is okay uh, it's not the best I'm gonna put these one more in like that that way the half hopper can go out here how are we lined up mm. kind of want this to line up with this hopper here uh, so we're gonna need to take at least one of these away and put it on the other side that way I can do this and floatiness okay so now we've got copper pipe oh of course Okay, there's copper pipe and now we need some gold wire and gold can come up right in here 
Uh, and we're going to come right off the top of this and merge it in. So let's uh, get some extruder action going here. I'm going to point these in this direction just because uh, they're all going to meet up and go up into a missile assembly area. Kind of not 100% plan this in my head, but I'm hoping I'm hoping this setup works. Uh, okay, so copper wire or no gold wire right in through here. And then input into this hopper. And I'm just using hopper as a hopper as a storage just to give ourselves a little bit of a backlog. Uh, oh, not not a huge hopper. I want a half hopper. I don't need that much. Okay, so those are all the intermediate parts. We've got the fuel canisters, the gold wire, and the uh, copper pipe. So now we need to go up. One, two, three, four. We need to go up a little bit more here. And right there. I don't think... Oh, I can. I can hit that. So it's a simple enough system of getting these things squared away and I should have dialed back. I'm glad I caught that before I built the platform properly. Oh, did I lose, miss any? No, I got them all. Okay. So now we need to mark sort of where these things need to come up and where is the best place for them to come up. Um, we're going to have just one platform to craft the missiles. Like I said, we're not going to go crazy with the missiles this time uh, because we don't need them as much. Uh, and I, I went way overboard in my last series on the missile assemblers. So here I think we're going to bring missiles... Uh, where is a good medium spot? Right in here is a good spot. So we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, right in here. Two, three, four, five. How much space does that give us? Gives us a pretty good amount of space. Um, let's see how this is going to work here. So we're going to bring up the, the gold wire and the copper pipe. And we're going to bring them right in here. And this is where all the magic will happen. So I'm pretty sure I use the logistics hoppers extensively in these setups, which is fine. They are fine for what we need them for. So I'm going to make a bunch of those. And let's see if we can craft the empty missile assembler. I need titanium plate. I know I made some titanium plate. If uh, Spider Bro would kindly get out of my way, there is 150 titanium plate. Is that enough? So I want five of these. So one, two, three, four, five. I need five fuelers. One, two, three, four, five. I need two imbuers. One, two. Um, and I might as well build a warhead fitter just for no particular reason um i mean we've got some we've got some stingers so it would be nice to be able to use those up in something but this should be plenty to fight back the fight back the enemy a little bit okay so first step is the empty missile assembler one two three four five in there uh okay so desires eight power per second we don't need to worry about that for now that's going to be a hopper that's going to be a conveyor that's going to be a hopper and then last one uh, this is going to be the missile fueler and right in here one two three four five right in there okay so now it's hopper time i'll do all the hopper permissions uh off screen just because there's a lot of hopper permissions that have to be set 
Uh, so here we have a missile assembler. There's the missiles. There's going to be the fuel. And let's set up these hoppers just so we have them available. Uh, so these need the gold wire and copper pipe. So we're going to have the gold wire and copper pipe come up into there. So we have, let's say, gold wire and then copper pipe missiles missiles fuel and then the final the final is all of these can get output right into here now you can see why i made so many of those logistics hoppers so that is the main that is the main setup for missiles uh, now it's just a matter of power and the fuel and i think we can do power in a way that uh, not only powers the missile setup and powers the imbuers, but also powers the refinery, um, the system of refineries that we're going to need. And I think we're going to need quite a few refineries. Uh, at least I'm going to build, I'm going to plan on two refineries that are four blah or four vats high each uh, I don't know if that is going to be overkill it might be it might be overkill but that's what we're going to plan on uh, so first I need a turbine Crafting. Crafting. and then I need a battery a mark 4 battery Crafting. Crafting. so let's get the mark 4 in here uh, let's see, that's the, that battery. I really should uh, organize organize my system here a little bit better. Uh, but let's see. Da, 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 da. Yeah, the imbuers. So if I build these, I'd be able to take the missiles out from the bottom. So I'll be able to put a conveyor underneath. If I put the battery right here, that would be perfect. Um, now, do I want the battery right next to this thing? That might be a problem. But if I space it out two, if I put the battery right here, I'd be able to beam power in and not have any any crosstalk between those two batteries. I don't want to sort of, I don't want an infinite loop that is degrading to my performance of the game. So there's the battery finally. Um, we're going to put the battery right here instead. Okay, now I want the imbuers right in here so we have that's the warhead this is the imbuer so one there and one there these things require 512 power per second in my uh, rebalance recipe mod so that's a thousand twenty four power per second while the the turbine can generate 1800 so we are we are much we are really in the clear with that and that laser is enough to power that whole setup without any problems at all. Uh, and the last bit of this, I'm gonna put a regular storage hopper set to remove only. These are gonna come in and go into this thing. Now actually what we want is a little bit of more space here um, because I don't know, these things can output directly onto a conveyor. So if I put a conveyor right next to here, that might, this thing might at attempt to put that on a conveyor and I really don't want that. So I'm gonna put that up here instead and these uh, up here instead. So this is gonna be remove only. So the conveyor will come around, go in and up and avoid any crosstalk between those two. Uh, and now I can put these here which will hold a ton of missiles 
and these can be the add only hoppers from the imbuer. And from those, I can either craft, I can either send those to be launched, or I can then further craft uh, warhead, uh, armored warhead missiles from, say, the top of this thing. So the, the jet turbine then can go behind here. Um, and let's put it right back here. At least plan on doing it. One, two, three, four. So there's the jet turbine that's going to power everything. Uh, and now we need this thing to get fuel and to somehow drop off its empty canisters. Now, I could, I could bring this around, uh, have the empty canisters go back into the system, um, but we're gonna be, we're gonna be making canisters uh, en masse. We're gonna be just crafting massive numbers of canisters. So I think what I'm gonna do is, this thing when it outputs canisters uh, is gonna be either macerated or voided using the void hopper. I don't really use the void hopper for much, but uh, we can definitely get that void hopper in use here. So I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna gather these before they're picked up by beacons. So now I can input right into the bottom here, say uh, one of these resources, probably probably the gold wire is gonna go right up here. That is, I think, the best course of action. Uh, oh man. This is just annoying. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, jetpack off. So, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so if I put a hopper here, uh, then I would need something like this and this. I need I need one of these edges to be to be open. So I could bring this up over and in and it would would be fine. Um, so I could come off the top from this one and from this one, I could come off the bottom like this. It's kind of ugly, but it works. And then this will go in here. It's going to be kind of cramped, but once the system is up and running, I shouldn't need to work on it anymore. So the gold wire will come up, go in, go into the hopper, and then be distributed among all of these all of those different hoppers once they're full and that leaves the copper pipe which i'm going to need a system to bring it up there uh, and i can do that in between episodes just the same it's the same sort of thing i mean it we're i just need to bring it up in a way that i can then distribute it easily into all five of these hoppers uh, the last bit is the the fuel, and we're gonna probably let's uh, mark where this hopper is. I want to kind of bring this straight up into the system. Uh, so let's first deliver all of these. I'm gonna kind of come back here. Okay, so there's all the missiles. They're gonna be good pushed into the imbuers. Uh, that'll tell me exactly how much room I have. So if I put the refineries right in here, uh, somewhere, somehow, uh, I actually want, it's gonna be one side and the other. So I want one more on this side like that. So the, the 
canisters will come up here. I can have the biomass, which is way over here. I can have that go up and in right in here. Um, that kind of is tricky. So if I build that out like that, build that out like that, Uh, I could easily move this. I can move it over one if I really wanted to. I can move it over here. Not a problem. Okay, so a refinery here, a refinery here. Uh, the controller goes in the middle. Now power is the other issue. I was hoping to line these up so I could build I could push a laser off the side of this. So let's then readjust again. Oh, I could put a battery, put a battery on the side, and then beam power over, and that would work. Okay, so I don't need to move this much, much more than what I've got here. Uh, now I just need to bring up biomass, and that is going to be tricky because I want to bring it up right here. So right in here is where I want this to come up. So if I bring it down, one, two, three. If I bring it down right here and then up, we should be able to do it just pretty easily. Um, and so this one's gonna go up, out, out, out. And then down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait to put that one in there later. Uh, and then this one, I'm going to take this out so I can build that back. Okay, then one, two, three. Now I can match this up, merge it in, and it should be, it should be good. Oh, jetpack, you, why do you hate me? Uh, okay, so I'm going to bring that to the side. We're going to bring it straight in. And it's going to go in right here. Okay. Now, I'm going to bring it up one because I'm going to elevate these a little bit. So we need two reactors. And uh, we're almost done with this setup. So uh, next episode, we will put the finishing touches on and uh, see where we go from there. But that'll have to do it for this episode. So I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.